Every now and again, some would say not often enough, I do a video just for a bit of variation on the channel. Today is one of those days. There is a reason for that, of course. I was out and about on Wednesday with an intention of going to the car boot sale, but Mother Nature had a different plan in mind. It was absolutely hammering it down. So while I was out and about, I decided to do a charity shop run instead. And this is the result of that charity shop run. I'm gonna take you through the bits and pieces I picked up, let you know how much I paid for it, and obviously importantly, how much it's getting listed for. Hopefully, somebody out there will find this interesting and maybe even informative. Let's get into it. <laughs> I actually hit a total of three tar charity shops. I didn't actually go too far afield either. Uh, mostly clothing and footwear, but some electricals as well. So I literally just emptied the bags out on the floor. These are Russell of Bromley boots. Really nice. They look like they've hardly been worn. How much did I pay for those? Five pound pay for those, like a grey suede. They'll give me a listing value of between 40 and 45 pound. I might tweak that up to 50 pound actually, because they are in rather good nick. This motorcycle jacket paid six pound for it from International Aid. It's one shop that I go in, I very rarely go into because I have never, well, maybe once in all the time I've been reselling, bought anything from there. But I stopped at the co-op next door for a sandwich, so I thought I might as well bob in. And I found this Agrius soft shell motorcycle jacket. Again, it doesn't look like it's had much wear. The only downside to it is it's missing its elbow armor. It's got shoulder and back armor, but no elbow armor. Obviously gonna mention that in the listing. I'm expecting that to give me a listing value of probably around about the 35 to 40 pound mark again. Hotter shoes, five pound 50 paid for those. They'll have a listing value of 20 pound. You've seen me pick up hotter shoes countless times. Standard pair of Wrangler denim jeans. These are a vintage pair as well no damage to the heels which is very common with those five pound paid they're going to give me a listing value of 20 to 25 pounds i didn't actually check the comps of this it's a vintage st michael pure new wool cardigan this is proper granddad material <laughs> it's really nice it's really really very nice it's given me loads and loads of retro vibes made in the uk as well fabulous condition these can be actually surprisingly good news uh four pound fifty paid for it now this is going to actually give me a listing value of 25 to 30 pound which is better than i anticipated actually i always say always check comps but sometimes you've got to go with your gut and this is one of those purchases for me doesn't look like it's seen much action i was anticipating around about the 20 pound mark for it but 25 to 30 pound there's plenty of comps for this type and this brand i was a little bit disappointed with these hackett of london uh chino jeans hackett of london's a great brand really but not always across the board at two pound I, I was always picking these up that was an absolute steal for this brand there's a bit of color fade to these but it's not excessive i suppose you expect a little bit for this style of jean it's like a almost a felt feel to them they're going to give me a listing value of around about the 25 pound mark maybe about to tweak that up to 30 pound now i've sold quite a few of these in the past i don't really know why I picked them up in the first place. It's a micro fleece shirt from Five Country. Five Country, I put my teeth in. They do tend to hang around a little while, but not excessively. I paid three pound for this shirt. I'll be expecting a listing value of around about the 15 to 18 pound mark on that one. I haven't picked one of these up in such a long time. And if it wasn't for the time of year, I probably would have left it alone. This is a Winsmore wool coat, uh, size 10, I uh, paid seven pound for it. Duffel coats have always been really, really popular and some brands, they go for bonkers money. Winsmore, the average price seems to have come down over the last few years, but if you're not paying very much for it, they're a reasonably safe bet. This coat is gonna give me a listing value of around about the 35 pound mark. Now these lovely, lovely, lovely shoes jumped out at me straight away as soon as I walked in the shop. Fabulous condition. If you recognize the logo, you'll know these are Grenson shoes. Women's platform. Really nice style to them as well. I'm not too sure about those. I think they might be more of an acquired taste. It's kind of like a lizard skin almost. Very bizarre. Six pound each paid for these and I'm expecting a listing value of 40 to 50 pound on them each, by the way. <laughs> 
six pound paid for this astro labio ski jacket it's a vintage piece this point of note on these watch out for the astro labio ski suits because they can be going for 60 to 100 pound as we go into autumn this is a great time of the year to be listing this type of stuff as well i'm going to be putting a listing value on this jacket of 40 pound another heading into winter coat this is the edinburgh collection 100 percent new wool overcoat i can't decide whether it's blue or purple no idea how it's going to come out on uh, on video but there you go seven pound paid that's going to give me a listing value of 40 to 45 pound i think i bought this for me actually yeah i'm pretty confident i did because i just think it looks cool when i'm buying stuff for me i i don't go off brand as such i go more off quality and if i like it obviously and i do like this and it does feel great quality i didn't check comps on this because i bought it for me but i paid four pound for it so let's do it live feral jumper no comps men's yellow round neck six pound fifty uh jumper stripe oh there's a branded it's going to be very low value but i don't i don't really care because like i say it feels nice quality uh, I, I like the look of it so that's going to go in my wardrobe as i was walking out of one of the charity shops and I, no I noticed this vintage doll this is a tiny treasures doll i paid five pound for it often with these dolls the markings on the back of the head this as <laughs> Uh, on second look this isn't actually a vintage piece this is from 2013 it's actually a decent selling point that it's got uh, its jumpsuit with it and i will put a little bit of research into trying to find out the name of this specific doll it could turn out to be a bit of a fail actually because the five pound i paid for it is only going to realistically give me a listing value of 15 to 25 pound depending on uh, which doll it is but just to save myself from admitting that this is a fail i could always give it to my granddaughter and if it makes her smile it's never going to be a fail on to the electricals five pound paid for this uh, makita drill this is the 8391d with a battery importantly without a battery you're not looking at tremendous value to be fair works perfectly well it does have a box with it but it's not the box for this drill that's going to have a listing value of 25 pound for the same there's a charger and a battery i'm not entirely sure whether i'm going to sell these as a bundle or separately but for the purposes of the video i'm going to price them separately i actually bought them or they were priced to me at the charity shop separately anyway so uh five are paid for one battery and the charger and that's going to have a listing value of 30 pound two pound paid for this Lumi white noise machine it's something to do with helping babies go to sleep apparently and looking at the label it looks like it originally came from amazon that's going to give me a listing value of 18 to 20 pound and by far and away the pickup of the day is this panasonic dmr ex 97 i paid just five pound for this and it's got its remote with it and it's got a power cable and a hdmi cable and a scart cable which i'll probably just chuck in the bin one for your bolo list guys to finish up on this is going to give me a listing value of 120 to 150 pound it has been pat tested as well now i'd say that's a pretty good rescue of a particularly soggy day you guys probably know that my channel is mostly known for the car boot sale vlogs and of course they're going to continue but this is where i need some feedback from you if you like a bit of variation particularly those of you that are resellers and maybe more interested in uh, this stuff i'm picking up to flip rather than where i'm picking it up from let me know in the comments of this video but on the flip side of that if you only want me to concentrate on doing the boot sales then i will oblige as well i'll try to oblige i'm going to try and keep as many people as happy as possible either way though if you found this video interesting informative entertaining please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already hit the subscribe button only about 50 percent of people who watch the videos are actually subscribed so if you can hit that and the notification bell you'll get a notification of next time i post a video up and you will also earn my eternal gratitude <laughs> Thanks very much indeed for watching today's video, guys. I've been Dave Key. You've been amazing. I'll see you in the next video.